All right, this is page 216. Question number one reads, how did you determine the labels along the bottom of the bar Bar model in step D? So i got to go back a page. All I have to do is just scroll up. How did I turn the labels? Well, we counted by 40. That's all we really did. Uh, how did we know to count by 40? Well, they did it for us. They showed us that we're going up by 0, 40, 80, 100, 20. Let's say we didn't know that, though. Let's pretend that we didn't know any of these. Make it white and color it out. Let's say I didn't know that was counting by 40s. Uh, how would I do that? Well, what you what you need to notice here is that the total is 400, and then we're going by 10%. 10% means we're just splitting it into tenths. Uh, splitting something into tenths means to divide by divide by 10. So if I do 400 divided by 10, I get 40. So every 10% is 40. So also I'm going to write for my answer for for the reflect. How did you determine the labels along the bottom of the bar in step D? What we did was we divided the total. Of 400 into 10 equal parts so each 10 percent is equal to uh, 40 gloves and then question 2 reads how can you use the bar model to find the number of left-handed gloves well what we do is look at 30% on the bar model and the reason why we're looking at 30% is because the problem at the beginning of the page said that 30% of 400 gloves were left-handed so we look at 30% on the bar model and see that it's equal to 120 gloves cool all right, let's move on. We're going to learn how now to find the percent of a number. There's different methods, and this first one's called proportional reasoning. I'm going to read with you. A percent is equivalent to the ratio of a part to a whole. To find a percent of a number, you can write a ratio to represent the percent and find an equivalent ratio that compares the part to the whole. To find 30% of 400, you can use proportional reasoning. I'm going to start with this one right here. So this is the problem we had on the previous page. 30% means 30 hundredths. And then uh, we knew that it was out of 400 gloves. So what do, you, what do you notice is happening here is that we're going to multiply by 4. If you do 100 times 4, you get 400. And you have to do that with a percent, too. So you do times 4, you get, we already knew this, you get 120. It's right here. 120 left-handed gloves. Uh, there's another way to do it. It's called multiplication. I'm going to show you later on when we would use proportional reasoning and when we would use multiplication. Okay. Example one, they show you proportional reasoning. And I'm actually going to, I'll, I'll kind of read this with you. And then I'll show you why you would want to use proportional reasoning. A reads, use proportional reasoning to find 28% of 25. So here's the problem right here. 28% of 25. And so what we do is we set up a equivalent, we set up equivalent ratios. Now some kids, and this would be an intelligent thing to think, uh, if you're thinking to yourself, well, in order to um, set up an equivalent uh, ratio, I need three numbers. And it kind of looks like I only have two numbers here, but really you have three numbers, and here's why. The first thing says 28%, and so I would ask you, uh, what is 28% equal to? Well, by definition, percent means out of 100. So 28% means 28 out of 100. So this right here goes here, 28 one hundredths. And we're trying to find that out of 25. So 25 is going to be my second term because it's going to be out of 25. Something, unknown number, out of 25. Now what do you notice? Well, what you should notice is that if you, um, if you divided 100 by 4, you would get 25. And this is why proportional reasoning works really well for this. 100 divided by 4 is 25. So therefore, you need to do 28 divided by 4 is it's going to be 7. So the answer... It's going to be 7. Let's see what the book shows you to do. They do the same thing. They do the same thing except for actually backwards. Check out, and that's okay. Check out how they set it up here. I didn't notice how they did that. They put unknown over 25 is equal to 28%. And so what they do here is they, they didn't do divide. They do multiply as in how do you get from 25 to 100? You multiply by 4. How do you get to unknown? 
228, you multiply by 4. Well, what does this unknown number have to be? It has to be 7. 7 times 4 equals 28. You could check our answer here too as 7 divided by 28 is equal to 25%. All right, so that's proportional reasoning. Um, we're going to uh, end this video and go ahead and go on to page 217 for some more instruction and some more practice.